Podcast today is brought to you with thanks to uh, Robbie Warren and the fabulous team at the Commerce. And uh, you can head on down there. Great uh, veggie bar, salad bar, and uh, meals, and uh, plenty of uh, cold beer and entertainment. Perfect too. place to go after the game. I think it could be. I'm thirsty already. <laughs> but uh, thanks to Robbie, uh, always a big supporter of, uh, of soccer. Unfortunately for uh, for Robbie uh, today, his beloved uh, blue and white won't be running around uh, out on the uh, the main game. But uh, um, he's still here, I'm sure, supporting uh, local football as he always does. So. Uh, we uh, have perfect conditions, really. Not a breath of wind out there, I don't think, either at the moment. It's absolutely perfect. It's perfect conditions. For Let's get this uh, seniors on, on, off, off the ground. And I was going to say, the ground looks good, too. The ground looks like it's in great condition. Although earlier on there, some of the players were sliding over. But this ground looks in beautiful condition. Right, straight up the middle. I've been out there a little bit early on. Straight up the middle is is still very slippery underfoot. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, playing, playing out wide, it's, it's a very uh, nice... Um, uh, coverage of, of grass and uh, it looks uh, looks picture perfect. It's just that sort of straight up the uh, straight up the middle um, is uh, probably where a, a few little things uh, people will come unstuck uh, if especially if we do get a little bit more rain. That's right. Inter are just about to take the first penalty, so Tanner's in goal for Centrals. And uh, they're trying to move people away from behind the goal. Uh, Okay, just a little bit of a, a hesitation. Robbie, you're about to uh, say something just before? Yeah, yeah, it's a credit to international uh, staff and committee members to have the ground in really good condition. Every time a final's come around, they've always pulled it together and made a really good ground to play on. You know, at times a bit soft, and, and across the across the grounds this year, it was really difficult to maintain the the good quality state they're in. Just, uh, just while I finish up those comments, I believe the penalty's going to be taken for Inter, and... And saved. Yeah. Saved. Brilliant. Saved. The, uh, the keeper has uh, pulled off a great save. The flag stays down from the assistant. That was uh, a saying that he's uh, certainly not encroached and uh, not the start that uh, International would have wanted in a uh, penalty shootout. And uh, Central's uh, will now uh, send up their first uh, penalty taker. Looks like the captain of their side. He's got the, uh, the armband on. And uh, the... Uh, Officials uh, doing their part out there, making sure that the right ones are uh, up and about. So uh, we might um, play a song, I think. Just we, we don't need to stand here talking about uh, penalty shootouts. We might fill in with a song, and uh, what better uh, sort of, I suppose, anthem for uh, a grand final day? And uh, it's a long way to the top.
that is a bit of that Akadaka long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. And uh, we are here broadcasting live for the Limestone Coast Football Association Grand Final Day. The uh, Seniors Grand Final is uh, soon to uh, be underway, just finishing up the under-14s here at the moment and uh, halfway through a penalty shootout. And uh, I've lost track of it now. I think it's, it's 3-1. It's, uh, no, no, not even. It's 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 1-1. 
really hard fought season for them. They actually came into the finals the under 14s on a penalty shootout last week too. So two penalty shootouts in two weeks has got to be uh, got to be a bit stressful for the young kids there. Indeed, Robbie. And uh, now I've got um, got my roving mic and I've uh, got my uh, got my headphones uh, plugged in here. That's a bit so. scary. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, try and wander out onto the pitch. They're, they're probably gonna tell me off. Um, I've tried to do that earlier in the day, and I said, no, sorry, mate, me, come let me out here. So need your pass. You don't have a pass, mate. Sorry. <laughs> you're, you're, well, not, you're not on the board. Steal his steal his tracksuit. <laughs> That's an official tracksuit, that one. I I am uh, I am out here. Nobody's come to tackle me yet, Robbie. Oh, uh, yeah. Get the security onto me. Oh, uh, I can volunteer myself if you like. Official tracks it. Well, both uh, both senior teams come out of the ground and warm up now just before the um, under 14s presentation on the other side. So, big loud cheer for Inter that came on the field before and for Centrals. Just warming up, going through their routines, looking very sharp at the moment. Both teams just trying to get in their routines. Are you still working, Nathan? No, no, it's too too delayed. I can't uh, can't hear you properly. So uh, that's all right. We can wave at you. You can wave. Yeah. And I just I just talk. You, you go over there and talk, and we'll wave. Well, we'll, we'll wait until <laughs> we'll wait until we get some uh, some teams out on the ground and uh, and things like that. But uh, I think they're probably going to have to rush through to get this uh, A grade uh, up and running. We are uh, getting up towards three o'clock here at Casadeo Park. So. Uh, we will uh, have our uh, our anthem and uh, our pre-game, and uh, both clubs just going through some final warm-ups out on field, and uh, the uh, the centrals uh, subs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casadillo Park for the grand final. International versus centrals in A grade. Like to welcome you all here. Let me just announce the teams: International Soccer Club. Number 19, Dan Bronca. Number 10, Matthew Fuetti. Number 11, Caleb Casey. Number 9, Kristen Seller, captain. Number 14, Finton Cuthbertson. Number 6, Chris Thullis. Number 13, Caleb Gentili. Number 17, Josh Grubb. Number 3, Skyper Johnson. Number 23, goalkeeper Braden May. Number 16, Ricky McRobert. Number 2, Saha Moo. Number 8, Nick Moroni. Number 4, Connor Pryor. Number 5, Austin Rossi. And number 15, Patrick Wollonger. Coach, Gareth Bondugi. Assistant coach, Travis McDonald. Manager, Lindy Mitchellman and trainer Linda McRobert. Now for the Central's team, we have number 15, Jake Blakewell. Number 23, David Cole. Number 24, Braden Coppick. Number 16, James Fallis. Number 12, Nathan Fleetwood. Number 21, Riley Hollands. Number 1, goalkeeper Stephen Hughes. Sorry, reserve goalkeeper. Number 29, James Tipping, goalkeeper. Number 7, Lewis Mark. Number 33, Luke Bitson. Number 11, Cameron Saint, captain. Number 2, Callum Sheedy. Number 10, Henry Schumacher. Number 6, Nathaniel Thorpe. Number 25, Jasper Whitehead. And number 8, Craig Wright. Coach, Nathan Fleetwood. Assistant coach, Dave Beeman. Manager Lisa Ransom and trainer is Lisa McKenzie. Wish both teams all the best. And there you have the uh, lineups uh, of today's game, and uh, the teams are walking out onto the uh, field uh, behind the uh, match officials who uh, have all uh, ventured down from uh, Adelaide to uh, officiate these games today. And uh, that uh, allows uh, the players uh, and the um, umpires, referees, to referees. Uh, to uh, not, um, I suppose, uh, know each other's uh, little traits and things like that that players tend to pick up. Oh, I can do these types of things and perhaps get away with it one week, but uh, it's it's a uh, yeah, a complete, uh, I suppose, uh, like neutralisation. Yeah, it's a flat, it's a flat field. Yep. 
I would also like to pay respect to the elders, past and present, present of the Bainuit Nation and extend that respect to all other Aboriginal people present. Thank you. Done. And, both, and both teams go into the handshakes at the moment. Just going to talk about some of the key players for either team at the moment. So the centrals, we uh, for we talked a bit about their key players before, but for centrals, we got Cam Saint being the uh, leading best and fairest from last year, and he's been a very good addition to centrals. Hasn't scored as much as he did last year, but the difference he makes and the the leadership he shows to, especially towards the younger younger people in the squad, is quite quite admirable and it's quite a strength that he has and he's going to go match up against some of the uh, the midfielders in Seha Mu and Nick Moroni just up front there. It'd be interesting if he goes on Christian Seller partway through the game because that's going to be an absolute delicious contest being that both the best players in their team respectively in my opinion. Yep and uh, for uh, for international uh, obviously we, we know Christian Seller has, uh, has controlled um, the midfield and pushes forward extremely well. Uh, the team work around him, but uh, players that have, have come into this side over the last couple of years, Josh Grubb was an inclusion uh, for International uh, last season coming across from Blue Lake, and uh, he's, he's got some run about him, and, and he, can, he can really float back in that defence, uh, but push up and, and feed balls in from wide, and uh, also uh, Patrick, he's, he's had to earn his spot in this team. Yeah, Paddy Redonga, um, yeah. Yeah, Paddy's, uh, Paddy's come through, and, uh, and he's, he's kept his spot. He was the B grade best in last year so he's made his way to 18 he's also a centre back with Ricky McRobert and Finton as well at the back there so that'll be a really interesting formation they've got there. Ricky McRobert is one of their strongest defenders in the league too, very very strong in his tackles has a presence, very organised at the back, he's also a key person uh, outside uh, Christian Seller I suppose Matt Buetti as well up front just, just the whole straight down the line middle that those guys are, the pillar in their team is just built on those three players and that's going to be something to their advantage today. It will be. And uh, both teams just in their final huddles. Uh, we are getting set for a start of uh, the grand final 2018. Who will be the premiers? Do you have a tip, Robbie? Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know oh, where look, your heart is, mate, right, but yeah, where's the head? Oh, where's the head? It's, you know, I, 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 suppose, I don't know. After the results throughout the year, it's been one win apiece and one draw. I mean... You can't get much Once even again, than that. And uh, what about you, Frank? You're sitting down? But, uh, you're on the fence? or? Yeah, basically on the fence. I think both teams have got an equal uh, chance of winning. Both teams have played brilliant football throughout the year. And just hoping today's game matches up to expectations. Yep. And uh, let's hope it does. Uh, Nathan Fleetwood gets it away for Centrals with the kickoff. And uh, Louis March pushes a ball back in the middle, but it's cut off by Bronca. He sends it straight through the middle. Matt Buetti's on the chase, but uh, Craig Wright gets there first, lays it back to uh, Kipping in uh, the goal square. Back out to Wright. Wright pushes down the wing to Fleetwood, who just chests it down to Cam Saint, out wide to uh, Louis March, and uh, he's, he's chasing down here. Like I said in the previous game... As I lose sight of it, Robbie, can you pick up where we are? Yeah, inches throw down the line at the moment. So inches throw in the back line towards the right side of the field, in ball to Nick Moroni, clearing out wide and collected by Dave Cole at Central. He's got plenty of time on the ball, not being approached by any players. Gives the ball to Nathan Fleetwood, gives out wide to Louis March. Louis March down the left wing, puts it all in the box. Braden May easily gathers the ball. Indeed, and uh, the throw out to uh, Matt Buetti. He just lays it back to uh, Fallis. Fallis uh, unable to really control it. Um, bit of scramble in the middle. 
as uh, Christian Seller gets it away, but uh, only as far as uh, now it's out here with Dave Cole on the uh, left wing, left back, but ball out of play, and uh, a throw in for centrals with uh, David Cole on the uh, left hand side of the field. Just an interesting observation here. Ricky Robert's actually gone up front for for Inter at the moment, with Dan Broker being centre back. So that's quite interesting for from my observation just up here. Ricky yep. was injured um, just a few weeks ago, so maybe that's got something to do with it. Potentially, yeah. Ricky has also got a presence in that, that same height, that same strength. As the uh, ball crosses from uh, Cam Saint into the middle, um, uh, Chris Fallis tried to get up uh, to it, but uh, it's taken by Braden May. As uh, Braden sends it long to the halfway, right in the middle of the ground, but uh, Dave Cole cuts it off the centrals. Cam Saint with a bit of a push in the back there from Seller uh, gets the free kick. And David Cole's just taking time to gather the ball at the sidelines here just to readjust and put centrals up in the forward line. And uh, Luke Pitson takes a short, short ball out wide of David Cole, runs down the left flank, heading towards the 18-yard box, puts the ball in deep. Chris Fallis heads out of the 18-yard box. Matt Buetti clicks the ball, skins past Henry Schumacher, running down the left wing for Inter at the moment. As Buetti cuts in a little bit now, Fleetwood takes the ball from him. That's a great oh, And uh, then gets the ball taken back from him. It's fair game uh, as far as the official goes. And uh, ball now with Kipping, the uh, keeper for Centrals. Takes a couple of bounces. Sends it high and uh, to the halfway line. Fallis underneath it. That's the uh, Fallis for International. The only one on the park at the moment anyway, of the, uh, the two boys. And just in the background, you hear the under-14s presentation. So sorry uh, about the deters from the commentary at the moment. Nick ball Moran. with Moroni. It's taken by Fleetwood. Very well done. Come from behind and took the ball cleanly. He pushes it through, but cut off by Paddy. Paddy pushes the ball wide to Grubb. Grubb's taken down and gets the free kick. Nathan Fleetwood just scoring a hard challenge there. So it'll be Bronca to take the uh, the kick um, uh, around about 20 yards inside the uh, defensive half and uh, pushes a long high ball down the line and uh, will it be shadowed out and uh, yes I think Central's win the goal kick in that one um, just well well shielded there by uh, Pitson. Yeah pretty even at the moment both uh, both uh, Inter and Central's not really having much of a shot or going up front it's just been trying to get the ball out over the top and really trying to test out where the strikers are at today. So we've got a goal kick here we are uh, around about s- four minutes into uh, this match as uh, Blackwell sends it high and over the top, but that'll be uh, to uh, Braden May in goals for International. He looks for Seller. Henry's uh, Sh- Schumacher into uh, the back. Seller gets away well with it. Ref to Nick Moroni. Back to Seller. Seller pushes it first time, but too wide and out of play. That'll be Central's ball. Central's has got the ball on the right side of the park for them. Jasper Whitehead at the back. He's been very good at uh, fullback this year. Throws the ball in straight to Christian Saller. Heads it back into Ricky Robert down in the centre. And just touches around. Luke Pitson gives away a free kick on Matt Beauty just receiving the ball there. Just hard on his back. Push him towards the ball and win the free kick there, Matt Beauty. So the free kick on the left side of Inter's attacking side, probably about 20 metres again from uh, from the about 18 yard box. He's a, uh, gets it up. Is, uh, is it going to be Moroni to take the kick? Do you think, or Bronca? I reckon I reckon Bronca's going to be taking this one. Just curl it back into the strikers at the moment. And I'm wrong. He's on the Moroni. Moroni pushes it with his right, but it's cut off. Uh, by Blackwall, and uh, Grubb has a shot, Ooh. and it's just on the uh, top of the crossbar onto the netting. Just a uh, bit of an awkward lob volley there, who just just took it out. It was almost 30 yards out. He thought, why not have a punt, and just kind of dipped last moment, almost looking like it was going to go in. And uh, Central's with their uh, I think third goal kick now of, uh, of this contest. Um, some early chances for Inter, but uh, nothing too testing just yet for uh, the Lions defence. Bronco hits that one on the volley and uh, flicked over by McRobert but cut off by Pitson. Pitson out wide to Cole. 
down the line. Yeah. Great work by Cam Saint to uh, Louis March, but the ball cut off um, extremely well. And uh, Central's uh, will take the throw through Cole again. Dave Cole's been a good inclusion for Central's this season. Uh, he throws to Saint. Saint's taken down, but uh, the ball goes out and uh, enters ball. No foul Dean there as uh, McRobert pushes the ball to Buetti. Buetti unable to uh, take it with him and uh, cut off by Pitson. Out to Cole to March. March leaves the ball behind. Oh, and David Cole recovers nicely. Good work from Coles. And it's still and, in. And Cole. he didn't run onto it. Ball's out of play. So we've got a throw in just in front of our uh, commentary position here. Uh, if you're watching it on the video, though, the camera is uh, probably on a different uh, location to us. But uh, we are uh, seeing uh, a throw now by Inter. They throw it backwards to Bronca. Patrick in the middle calling, but Bronca heads to the middle over top of Buetti. Cut off. By Craig Wright. Craig Wright sits on the ball in defence. Henry Schumacher gathers, passing out to the left side, just where David Cole is. Back into the middle for Jake Blackwell. Going out wide and then left side, Louis March. Touching to Nathan Fleetwood, who does a deep switch. Beautiful ball. Kalen Sheedy on the edge of the box. Gets taken down. Oh, and the referee has called him to get straight back up. Yeah. He's uh, not seen anything in that one whatsoever. Quick to uh, let everyone know. And... Uh, Patrick, uh, I think it is in the thick of it there, and wins the free. And referees just called the damage for Nathan Fleetwood. Just come in, really strong tackle dive, like a dive towards the ball. Feet up, it was just almost, almost hit Patrick Kudonga there. That could have been a really bad challenge, but um, just missed him, and the referees just called the damage and brought it back up. As uh, Bronca sends the ball across the park, and uh, it comes wider now. Out to um, Sehamu. Sehamu. But uh, Kipping takes care of that one in uh, the last line of defence for Centrals. Sends it uh, with a bit of an odd ball there, straight to Moroni's feet, but he couldn't control it. Uh, Blackwell out wide to Cole. Cole's got uh, March down the line, goes inboard to Saint, who can't control it. Grubb gets to it. And uh, uh, great work from Schumach on Seller there. Ball now with Moroni. Moroni to. Uh, um, Ricky McRobert and uh, good touch for Matt Buetti really. does the tap, runs onto it, but uh, cut off uh, very well in uh, defence and out for a throw. It's just been a struggle at the moment. A lot of hard challenges going going forward at the moment. So it's been a really strong game. Matt Buetti just on Luke uh, Luke Pitts at the moment, just inside the 18 yard box, cleared out by Craig Wright down to the left flank for Centrals. March has kept that one in. No, he hasn't. Uh, he had the jump, but uh, unable to get to it before the ball's uh, come out of play. So The game's starting to slow down a little bit as the teams find their feet and start to play soccer, where the first couple of minutes is always frantic in grand finals anyway. Indeed. And uh, we will... Uh, Hopefully get these presentations out of the background. Uh, hopefully the audio is coming through okay for you wherever you're listening to us. Thanks to the Commercial Hotel. And uh, Fleetwood now with the ball. Pushes it wide to uh, March. A great run by Louis March uh, down the left. He's going to cross it in but cut off. Great uh, tackle by Finton. Extremely Finton. well by Finton. Yeah, it's done done well. And Central's now with the, uh, the throw. What can they make of this? Blackwell calls, it receives. Puts the ball in. And Great ball to the long. back uh, post, but uh, Callan Sheedy unable to get there. Braden May sees it over the line, and it'll be a uh, central's corner. Yeah, just got a little touch on the cross there from Jack Blackwell. Probably thought that Callan's going to come around the back there, but just managed to just punch it out just for a corner. So Callan Sheedy's now taking the corner, waiting for the central's player to come in at the moment. So it's probably about 10 minutes into the game about right now as well. Yeah, and we've yep. got uh, March right at the top of the box. Uh, Wright makes a bit of a run. It's a uh, ball to the front post, cleared by Bronca. Uh, not much on, but Buetti for uh, Inter. He heads it, but uh, straight to uh, the feet of Whitehead. And uh, to Wright, who pushes out to Sheedy. Sheedy at the top of the box, sends the ball in, but only as far as Bronca, who chests it out for a central throw. Just right in the corner at the moment. So Central's just holding the ball in the box for the moment, trying to build up that pressure there. Got only Ricky McRobert being the last person with Luke Pitson defending, and then Matt Buetti in amongst uh, about four central players holding outside 18 yard box. So Callan Sheedy throws the ball in. Cam Saint, Jake Blackwell's controlled onto. Pass it over to Cam Saint. Oh, 
has a half volley just over the bar, about five metres in front of the goal. And it'll be a uh, goal kick uh, for uh, International. Braden May just waiting for the ball to be returned. And uh, so the uh, first real chance that uh, Centrals have uh, probably had. Yeah, one, sh- um, one shot each at the moment. And the ball now with Bronca. He can't control it very well. Saint gets a push. That'll be a free kick. Uh, no. I don't know. It's uh, playing the advantage Quite. there for Bronca. Um, but uh, it's now with Moroni. Moroni pushes the ball and uh, cut off by uh, Luke Pitson. Luke Pitson. He's got to go back and uh, retrieve it again. Probably had a bit more time than he uh, thought he had there, but he's uh, managed to find uh, um, Kalen Sheedy. Sheedy. And uh, Matt Newey sees it over the line for a uh, orange throw. Jasper Whitehead to throw it back in. He's got options uh, long, and uh, Cam Saint uh, impeded there. And wins the foul. And just free kick, probably uh, right side of central attacking side, probably five metres out the box, really near the touchline, so it's a good position for their free kick. Still building a bit of pressure into their, their forward half at the moment. So Carolyn Sheedy's about one up for the free kick at the moment, over the ball, and... Blackwell pushes himself into the box, and... Uh, He's the tallest player in there, but he can't quite find the head properly uh, with it. He did get clear of his player, but the ball just dipped a little bit low, unable to uh, put that one away. So it's a goal kick now for uh, International. Just finding a bit of space in the box is really hard there. Jake Blackwell is running directly across the goal, so just to flick it back onto the goal is going to be really difficult from that position. The ref's just having a talk with the keeper at the moment. I'm just curious as to what's that about, because I'm not too sure what... What, what's conducted here, but, but the chat's been going on for some time. <laughs> might be about now. the position of the ball, but I'm not too sure. Like I've I'm wondering if it's because the keeper's been uh, yelling out and the ref thinks he's yelling at him. Uh, I don't think so. It was quite quite weird one. Anyway, Braden May kicks it back in. Luke Pitts and big, strong header at halfway line. Back to Grubby for Inter. And then Jake Blacko recovers the ball. Still in central's half. Kalen Cheedy on the right forward flank against Paywidonga. Just turns him and Paddy Wodonga, great tackle. And Central's just win a corner. That was a fantastic tackle, wasn't it, Frank? There's some great tackling going on. And the tackling is clean. They're taking the ball. They're not taking the man most of the time, which is nice to see. And Kalen Chee is just on the right side of the, uh, of the pitch, taking a corner here, signalling, and ball gets into the box. A bit of a deep cross. Brain May comes out, gathers well, and referee's called in infraction. Yeah, an inter- interference on the keeper. Someone got in front of the keeper and slowed him down. So, but uh, he still had it in his hands. Maybe uh, just let it play. But uh, he's he's pulled it up. That's something Braden May's really good at. The balls in the corners. He's really strong in the air to come out and get it. So Dan Brocken clears about to the centrals, centrals way. Whitehead, a uh, little bit of a tap through uh, Moroni, but uh, not given as a infringement there. Moroni chases it back up and uh, controls it just inside on the left for uh, International. Um, Paddy pushes to Grubb, who uh, now the ball out wide with Fallis. Fallis pushes a long ball for McRobert to chase down, but cut off by Pitson in the last line of defence for Centrals. Yeah, just booted that out fast as he could, far as he could, just so Centrals can recover and get back defensively, because uh, if Rick and McRobert grab the ball there, it's going to be two on two in the back. As uh, Fallis sends the ball in, Buetti straight back to him, but uh, cut off by Whitehead, and uh, we'll have take two on that. Chris Fallis just throws the ball into Matt Buetti. He's recovered. Passes back Chris Fallis down the left side of into the attacking forward. Chris Fallis puts the ball in. James Kipping, great hands, takes the ball, and he's bring it out. Just big kick down the field. Dan Bronco recovers for Inter, who puts it straight back down into uh, Central's half. And it's just a bit of a scrap to get the ball. Craig Wright just gets a foot in there and clears the ball out for Centrals. Callan Cheedy gathers the ball in the Central's forward half. Gathers the ball again off Chris Fallis. Strong tackle there. Well done by Sheedy to uh, Saint in the middle. He pushes to Blackwell, who sends it wide to Cole. Cole gets past Shane, who finds Pitson. Pitson sends it back inboard to the penalty spot, but cut off by Paddy. Only as far as Blackwell, who... Just sends it above and out of uh, the entire arena. That volley has gone into orbit. 
that he he was 25 meters out. You know, it was, it was probably worthwhile taking a shot, but he just topped that, and that was going clearing every single fence here. So we've got uh, Cuthbertson out wide on the uh, right hand side here in uh, defence. Uh, Bronca just outside the penalty area. But uh, knowing what uh, Inter usually do with these, it'll be a long kick uh, out to the left by uh, May. He sends it to the halfway. It's pretty much central as uh, McRobert flicks it over to uh, Buetti. Buetti to Seller. Seller's got a good run here. And he's uh, being chased down by uh, a great chase by... Um, is that Henry, Henry Schumark, Schumark, yeah. Christian Seller was almost one-on-one -on -one here. And it was probably a really close tackle. Could have gone either way, but he looked like he got a lot of the ball there, just getting a slight touch, and uh, Inter's gathered a corner. And still waiting for the ball. Seems to be some confusion here. Josh Grubbs just going off the field towards his own bench. Uh, getting some di getting some direction there from Gaz Von Duve. Making some corrections on the field as Dan Bronco comes up to take the corner on the left-hand side of Inter's attacking half. Be curling this one in back into the goal. Uh, right footer. And uh, Bronca uh, starts his run, sends the ball high and uh, well past the back post. Uh, done well by McRobert, but the uh, ball was out before uh, it hit the head of uh, Ricky McRobert. Just a bit too much curve and a bit too much depth on that corner. Just right trajectory. Just a bit too long, fraction too long to recover a header. Because Ricky McRobert might be already at the back post there. And the big, big tall units against a very small, smaller size and undersized central centre backs there. Yeah, I think uh, Luke Dixon's got his work cut out uh, on Buetti in both the height and the speed. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a tough, tough challenge, uh, that one, for, uh, for Luke Dixon. So uh, James Kipping just took the goal kick, and Central's retaining possession in their own half at the moment, pushing forward. David Cole. Having a lot of possession of late. Down the left flank, passes. Oh, takes on Seiharmu. Great challenge. Seiharmu recovers. Oh, Colsey's still going to 18 yard box, puts a ball in. And Christian Seller gathers and clears the ball out. What well on Christian Seller? Great work by Bronca there to get his chest down low enough to take the pace off the ball uh, and, uh, and find Seller with it. So yeah, it was quite a hard low kick by Colsey going in the box there. So Saint uh, pushes back to Cole, we can't keep it in, he uh, loses his footing, so it'll be Moroney now to take the throw for uh, International. Nick Moroney finds Grubb, who uh, oversteps it and flips oh. and gets it, back to Saint with the back heel. Saint's taken down, and uh, nothing in that as uh, the play goes on. It's out to uh, Bioetti now, and uh, Cameron Saint uh, looked uh, a little bit there. Someone happy. May and there's, a, there's an infringement in the middle of the park now as um, Ricky McRobert uh, takes down Jasper Whitehead in that challenge. Pitson sends the ball quickly, but uh, nobody on the receiving end of that, so uh, a wasted uh, free kick there from Centrals. Yeah, Cam State actually did look to be fouled there. Got a little clip, probably tried to milk it a bit too much there and just uh, dove over the ball. That's probably why the referee just waved it off. There was but, definitely contact. Oh, I, I thought there was definitely contact, but... Uh, yeah, there was I, contact. But yeah, he just definitely uh, did a bit of a flop there. <laughs> so, ball now with uh, Paddy over the far side. He uh, throws it in, uh, met by uh, Callum Sheedy. But now back into the middle of the park with Ricky McRobert. Finds Grubb, Grubb pushes wide, but uh, that cut off by Dave Cole's head to uh, Louis March. Uh, well done by uh, Fenton uh, Cutherson, uh, but only as far as Blackwell. Blackwell and Moroni challenge together there. And Blackwell finds uh, Sheedy, but uh, Chris Fallis cuts that ball off. But back into the middle of the park to Saint is the ball, and uh, Bronca tries to do a clearing ball, but it's just as high as it is long. And uh, now with Seller, pushes it wide. Well done by uh, Jasper Whitehead to uh, cut that off, but uh, Vuetti now at his feet. Sends it inboard, but there's nobody home at all for Inter because that's usually where Buetti is. Yeah, in, well, uh, defenders got back there for Central. So it was five on three, and they tried to move the ball really quickly there, Inter. So James Kippins just kicks it out, controlled by Nathan Fleetwood, who wanted the foul but didn't get it. Cam Saint picks up on the left side of the field, straight into Seharmu, who gives the ball in, through ball to Ricky McRobert, who's cut in between. Luke Pitts and cuts it off and boots it out for a throw in down on Inter's attacking half on the right side of the field. The crowd's gone extremely quiet at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit of a eerie feeling to the game, isn't it? It's just, it's just died off the atmosphere. Um, 
Scoreline still nil-nil. We've just crossed the 20-minute mark of this uh, senior grand final. Uh, The ball in the middle of the park with Blackwell. Blackwell out to Saint. Saint down the uh, left-hand side. Sends it into the uh, penalty area, but nobody on the receiving end of that. Nathan Fleetwood uh, barely out of the centre circle um, to be able to chase that one down. uh, He's quick, but not that quick. So May sends the ball high 